Here is the Stanley Camp 6 Cup Stainless Steel Percolator, which is one of the 9 best camping percolators that I review on this channel and will be testing brew time, usage, capacity and lots of other cool stuff in this video. In the box, you get the Stanley Stainless Steel Coffee Pot, a stem with a base, a filter basket, a perking knob, and a removable silicone grip. I was supposed to get a spreader that goes on top of the filter basket too, but I think they missed it out. I paid 40 US dollars for it, but for the updated price as of now, you can use the affiliate links in the description below to check it out. Here are my personal measurements of the Stanley Camp Percolator. Length from handle to spout, about 8 inches or 20 cm. Length of handle, about 4.25 inches or 11 cm. Diameter of lid, about 4.5 inches or 11 cm. Diameter of base, 4 inches or 10 cm. Height from base to perking knob, 8.5 inches or 22 cm. Weight 560 grams or 19.8 ounces. For a size comparison, here's what the Stanley Percolator looks like beside a 32 ounce and a 16 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top and it's made in China. There were no official instructions that came with this Stanley Kemp Percolator so if you're interested, here's how I make my own percolator coffee. For me, I use 6 ounces of water for 1 cup of coffee. I grind my medium roast coffee into a coarse grind. I use 10 or 11 grams of grounds for 1 cup of coffee and I pour it into the filter basket. Next, I place the stem, filter basket, and spreader into the coffee pot. Since Stanley didn't give me a spreader, I just used the spreader from my Farberware percolator. It fits perfectly. After, close the lid and place the Stanley percolator on the stove without the silicone grip. My personal preference is to bring the water to a boil on medium heat and when it starts boiling, you can see the water perking in this transparent knob. After, I usually lower the heat slightly to medium low heat and wait about 7 minutes before turning off the heat entirely. Then I let the percolator sit for a few extra minutes to allow the water in the filter basket to drain out and the grounds in the coffee to settle at the bottom before pouring it out to drink. This is just how I do it and how I use all my percolators, but feel free to do whatever suits you best. For brew time, I looked at the time to first perk, which is the amount of time it takes for the water to start boiling. At a 3 cup capacity, or 18 ounces, it took the Stanley Kent percolator 7 minutes and 45 seconds for the water to boil. And at a 6 cup capacity, or 36 ounces, it took 10 minutes. These are estimates and can change depending on different factors like the temperature of your water, the surrounding temperature, the amount of heat you use, and stuff like that. I used tap water at room temperature and brought it to a boil on medium heat. After the water started boiling, I let the coffee percolate for about 7 minutes on medium-low heat. This Stanley Kemp percolator is marketed as a 6 cup coffee percolator, which I found to be pretty accurate if each cup is 6 ounces. When I put in 36 ounces of water, it was just below the spout holes. With this amount though, it almost boiled over, so I would not recommend putting in more water. I was still able to let my 6 cups of coffee percolate for 7 minutes though. On the other extreme, what is the minimum capacity? When I tried brewing just one cup of coffee or six ounces, here's what my brew looked like. Just water with some grounds. This is because there wasn't enough water to go up the stem and spread over the grounds. My 11 grams of coffee grounds were hardly used. When I tried brewing two cups of coffee or 12 ounces, the brew tasted diluted. So, minimum capacity for my Stanley percolator is 3 cups or 18 ounces. It works perfectly and brews a real tasty coffee. Basically, the Stanley percolator is good for brewing a minimum of 3 and a maximum of 6 cups of coffee. As for the filter basket, when I filled it to the brim, maximum capacity is about 80 grams or 2.8 ounces of coarse coffee grounds with a small gap for the spreader to fit on top. This is more than enough for the maximum of 6 cups of coffee. The Stanley Percolator only comes in this capacity, there are no other smaller or bigger options. The Stanley Kemp Percolator has two markings on the outside of the coffee pot and you can see it clearly from the inside as well. They don't tell you how many cups of coffee this is, but here's what I measured myself. The bottom marking measures 17 ounces, which is slightly less than 3 cups. The top marking measures 34 ounces, which is slightly less than 6 cups. For 36 ounces or 6 cups, that's the water level right below the spout holes. What I love most about the Stanley Percolator is this genius removable silicone grip. So you have the option of using this over an open flame or campfire if you want to, without having to worry about the handle melting. 
Even on stovetops, silicone handles can get warm if you use a bigger fryer. So even though I always use my percolators only on stovetops, I still find this incredibly useful. I also removed a silicone grip before washing so it makes cleaning up that much easier. The silicone grip is heat resistant and removable so it's always cool to the touch. The handle is very generously sized so even if you have bigger hands, you probably don't have to worry about these two steel plates here. The Stanley percolator comes with a transparent perking knob so you can tell when the water starts boiling and also the color of your coffee. I thought that the base is pretty small and narrow but thankfully my burner is not big and fit nicely under the base of the Stanley percolator. If your stove's burner is too big, it won't fit and the flame will go up the sides instead of the base. So you might want to take note of the dimensions of your stove's burner and the base of the Stanley percolator which is about 4 inches. It's not super wobbly on the stove if you place it right but it's definitely the least stable of all my camping percolators because of the small base. So it's probably not great for uneven surfaces as well. The lid of the Stanley percolator is not a tight fit so I would recommend holding it down when pouring out the coffee. Lastly, because I used a coarse grind, only a minimal amount of grounds got into my last cup of coffee. If you find grinds in your coffee, you can either wet the filter basket or use coffee filter paper to line the basket. To clean up, just toss the grounds, remove the silicone grip, and run water through all the components of the Stanley Camp percolator. They can be taken apart easily for a good washing. I found that percolating water is more effective at getting rid of the coffee bean oils. It's also dishwasher safe. The Stanley Camp coffee pot and lid are made of type 18-8 stainless steel which is food grade and is BPA free. The finish on both the outside and inside is great and I don't see much staining after the past few weeks of use. The stem and filter basket are made of the same stainless steel as the pot and they're pretty sturdy though they do rattle about inside the Stanley coffee pot when I shake it gently. The perking knob is made of plastic with a 2mm thickness and it attaches and detaches easily from the lid. The removable silicone grip is pretty thick, very flexible, and super comfortable to hold. It's also easy to attach and detach from this inner metal handle. The inner metal handle is also high quality and firmly welded to the Stanley coffee pot. After a few weeks of using this, the lid of my Stanley Camp percolator is still intact. It looks welded pretty well to me. I also did not notice any rust and the plastic knob is in great shape. As with all your products, Stanley provides a lifetime warranty on this. Overall quality of the Stanley Camp percolator is great and the only thing I was disappointed about was that I was missing the spreader. This missing parts issue seems to be pretty common, but I guess it's not a big issue for me because I'm covered by Stanley's lifetime warranty so I'm just gonna send it back and get a new one. For pros, I think the biggest benefit is being covered by a lifetime warranty from a trusted brand which is Stanley. The removable silicone grip is genius and provides a lot of versatility. The stainless steel build is high quality and has a good finish. The capacity is accurate which is rare for percolators and I could brew a minimum of 3 cups and a maximum of 6 cups of coffee. It's also user friendly and feature rich with cup level markings, removable handle and perking knob. As for cons, the Stanley Camp percolator having missing parts seems to be a pretty common issue. For me, I was missing the spreader. Also because of the narrow base, the brew time is slightly longer than all my other percolators, it's not suitable for bigger burners and it's also the least stable of all my percolators. If you found this helpful so far, please help me hit that like button so this video can be seen by more people. Thank you and I really appreciate it. Would I recommend the Stanley Camp Stainless Steel 6 cup percolator? Overall, I was very impressed with the Stanley percolator. The stainless steel build is high quality and it's really feature rich with the removable silicone grip, cup level markings and transparent perking knob. I was a little disappointed though by the not so great packaging and the missing spreader, but this can be easily resolved at no extra cost with Stanley's awesome lifetime guarantee. I saw a few other reviews that had this issue of missing parts as well, so I would say don't buy this if you're in a rush to get a camping percolator to use ASAP in case yours comes with missing parts as well. But otherwise, I love Stanley, I have a lot of good products, all of which are high quality and I've been using them for years. The Stanley Camp Percolator is no different in terms of being a quality product and I would definitely recommend it. How does the Stanley Percolator stack up against other popular camping percolators though? To find out, check out this video where I bought, tested, and compared 9 of the best camping percolators. If you prefer to read, my website at campingguidance.com has all this info as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.